Right, we're just going to go over a few checks that need to be done on the cable, the spring, the barrel, the needle and the clip which go into the carburetor. Okay. Now, it's quite simple really, it just seems a bit complicated uh, when you've come across this the first time. But one of the main things that need to be checked is the clip. Um, which is situated or located on the needle. So I'm going to show you how to take this off and uh, check that it's in the correct place. Okay. So what you do is you pull the spring back zoom in a bit on that to make it easier to see right yeah so what you do is you pull the spring back okay you hold the cable and you just pull it out through here okay so the cables off and you can leave that somewhere now this is the barrel and inside the barrel is the needle the needle just slides out and then you can check the position of, uh, let's just zoom, zoom in a little bit on that so you can, it's easier to see. Right, yeah. So what you can do is check the position of uh, the clip. So there's the clip. And that's the needle. Now, I don't know if you can see from here. I'll just double check that actually. Um, Yeah, I think you can just about see it there. There's some, uh, there are some notches on this needle, and the clip needs to be on the middle notch. I've always found that the middle notch works best. Okay, so the newer engines have five notches on the needle, and the clip should be on the middle notch. And the older engines, I believe, they have uh, three notches on the needle. And again, you want to get the uh, the clip here on the middle notch, and you can easily pull this off with some pliers and uh, press it back into place. Okay, so that's one of the first checks that you need to make. And as long as that's fine, you shouldn't have any problems. The clip can be put on different notches, and uh, this is basically um, to do with the uh, the fuel and air mixture. And it's affected by uh, many factors, one of them being uh, the, the sea level that you're at, the, or the height of sea level um, where you live. Um, but, but generally, and manufacturer's recommendations are, have it on the middle notch. And then, and then you know, if, if you, later on, if, if you want to play about with it and see if you get better performance on different notches, you can do that. But to start with, always make sure this clip here is on the middle notch. Okay, so how to reinstall this? And we'll go over this now. First thing you do is take the is take the uh, the needle, and on the inside of the barrel there's a little hole. All it is, the needle goes into the hole inside the barrel. Okay, so we'll do that now. As you can see, it comes out this end here. Right. Now, there's a circlip which fits inside here. This fell out when we were taking it apart, but um, as I say, all it is, it just goes inside here. And you need to make sure the opening on the circlip lines up with the opening on the side of the barrel. Okay, so I'll just install this and then I'll show you what it looks like when I've installed it. Okay, so if you can see that now, the circlip is in line with the opening on the side of the barrel. Okay, then what you do is you grab the cape, grab the cable, okay, pull the spring back, 
and what you do is the spring goes in the cable goes in here and the spring if I can get it in right there we go okay so the cable went in through the opening on the bottom of the barrel okay the circlip is again aligned with the opening on the barrel we put the cable through and the spring sits on top of the whole mechanism and there it is it's all connected and ready to be put back into the carburetor oh just another tip before we uh, before we move on this cap here which screws onto the carburetor it's it's a bit fiddly when you try and screw it on you may have the impression that it's closed when, when in actual fact it's not fully closed you need to fiddle with this when you're screwing it on and make sure you've got it screwed on as far down as it will go because if it's not it won't be properly sealed and it will mess with the air and fuel mixture and you'll be, you'll be troubleshooting everything else and right at the end you'll realize all it was it was the uh, the cap on the carburetor which wasn't screwed down properly as far as it will go okay this is transformercycles.com signing out